presents today with TMJ pain, and this is a repeated problem, and um, she comes with uh, myofascial pain as well, and that's an ideal uh, situation for treatment with light therapy. So what we have today is uh, a light therapy handpiece, a laser handpiece, and this is from the only laser that's been approved in North America for pain therapy and for wound healing. And so typically what we'll do when we treat a TMJ case is we'll treat the masseter, we'll actually treat the joint, and we'll treat the temporalis muscle as well, and we'll split our time between those three areas. Typically with light therapy, the, the targets are going to be either the site of injury, in this case there's not injury, we'll treat lymphatic uh, nodes, we'll treat trigger points, and then we'll also treat uh, uh, musculature that, that's been affected. So using this specific handpiece that's got a spacer on it here that will give us an exact size of um, uh, power density, we'll put it t towards the skin, actually activate the laser, and keep it moving so that we don't have any um, undue buildup of heat. And then as we move to the three different areas, we need to keep in mind that in some patients where they have uh, darker skin or darker hair, those are going to absorb this laser energy because this is a dark um, seeking pigment uh, laser. And the typical treatment will be about five to 10 minutes and the effect has been shown to be uh, lasting for about uh, 48 hours. So you'll do this about two or three times per week uh, for the first week and follow up after that. Typically with the light therapy, there's either high power or low power and uh, the low level laser is the more uh, popular because it's more for wound healing and it goes all the way down to the, the cellular level to assist with wound healing and um, uh, cell propagation. But in this case, we would be using high powered laser because high power is associated with an analgesic effect.